Minute and a half to half time plus uh, time added on. Olympics. Well, what are they going to do with this? He's gone past, and it is there. Again, a goal scored in comical circumstances. Olympics are back in the lead. And it's Rafael Quarte, the captain, who was there on hand to score that particular goal. Well, there's a lot to be praying about. But I tell you what, the defence of Hearts of Oak were caught all over the place with their pants down. Here we see into the 18-yard box. Looks as if he's going nowhere. Two last-ditch challenges. And all of a sudden, it's in the back of the net. Well, what a joke. But it's a goal. Well, he does that better than he does putting the ball in the back of the net. I can tell you that much. But he has put the ball in the back of the net, Rafael Corte, captain. And he'll be delighted with himself for that. Meanwhile, another player is receiving attention, I believe, is Joshua Opokura, the goalkeeper. Well, I'll tell you what, there shouldn't be any physical injuries there, but uh, an injury of the mind. Look at it once again, he's going absolutely nowhere. Look at this, ricochets twice off Hearts of Hope defenders. And then, it's in the back of the net. And Rafael Corte, very persistent. But just two more minutes in, in at a time, and Hearts of Oak are down by two goals to one at the moment. And if they don't come back, Olympics are going to take the Millennium City Challenge trophy. The pass in there. And that ball going out for a throw. Abanga. Nzimaba. Abanga. Right. Was going to ride that challenge, but it's a free kick. And the caution. Well, at least it should be. Or well, referee Wellington decides to let uh, the offending player get away with it. It's just a free kick, that's all. Nothing more. Which is a pity, really. But Sabango was practically held off as he shaved his shoot. It's in Kroma. Well, decided to go for power, and the wall did his job, and the ball's just been cleared away. I was talking about a capacity crowd of a thousand, give or take a hundred. So, what do you think? In terms of attendance. You'd probably be right, Chris. 1,000, no more. And that includes the vendors. The uh, production crews, the journalists, the uh, invited guests. So many people. Well, it's half time already. And uh, Red Olympics over in the sports crew, James Hub and the equalizer coming from. Ishmael Ayi after he missed the penalty and Rafael Corte scoring just before the break at half time. It's Hazelburg 1, Olympics 2. And uh, this, I believe, was when the first goal was scored in very comical circumstances. Or just rolling to the back of the net. And Hearts of Oak, fair to fight. That was a shot that was saved by the keeper. And Hearts of Oak still went on. And yeah, Edmund said he had his arms raised. I think, I, I think that was the correct decision. Well, he was running, Chris. That's the issue. He was running. But uh, the penalty, a very poor one. And that's a horrible corner. Terrible like that. There's another corner that wasn't that uh, horrible, really. And this was the equalizer. And it was Ishmaelai who got it. They make it 1 1. And this was when Joshua Poku had the full measure 
of catching this particular ball. And Bote. Shot from Ansong going over the bar. And this was a chance that should have converted. It was blocked last moment. And the shot going off target again. And again off target. So Olympics had chances. So did uh, Douglas and Krumah. And Hearts of Oak. Although having your own opportunities by that shot. Well grabbed by the goalkeeper. And that was a header that should have hit the bar. And it was 1-1 at this stage, so you can imagine. And Okansi tried to beat the keeper. That went off target. And Ishmael Ai messing up on that particular opportunity. And that was a header that left uh, the keeper stranded. And this was the uh, leading goal. But for a quarter score in that particular goal, Does the acrobatics to boot? So at half time, it's Heart of Oak one. And Heart of Oak going on the attack almost immediately by the header going to Alexa Japan for Olympics. And that's Emmanuel Ansong, who's now, curiously enough, wearing the captain's armband for Olympics. So that would presuppose that Rafael Quarte has been taken off. And Olympics, well, rode that challenge, well cleared out, and Heart of Oak, heading that ball to touch, and so, a bit strange that for a guest player to end up being the captain, maybe he's going to, maybe he's moving to Olympics, you never know, what, in first division? Well, maybe they've offered to make him the highest paid player in the first division. They've offered him a house and a car and all the things that go. Sorry, I'm just joking. <laughs> anyway, Hearts of Oak. Just putting the ball together and I'll say. Ball pass back there. Ball plays back. Nabanga and Steven Aye. Can he get a cross in? Well, not a bad one. It should have been a goal. Well, that was a decent ball into the 18 yard area. Very decent ball. Should have got his head on it and converted it. But uh, I think defensively, Olympics got it right and there was just enough pressure to force that ball away from the goal. Now it's actually Angela who delivered a cross. And Ajapong gets to clear the ball. And Hearts of Oak in Zimaba and Kroma beaten to it, but the referee says that's a free kick advantage across Hearts of Oak. He'll be looking for an equalizer. They're 2 1 down in Zimaba. Olympics. That's a good ball from Joe Tego. Aban. What's Aban going to do? He almost rode both challenges, but lost the ball. Good play. And that's a lovely ball. Stephen Ayer. 